Hey everybody, welcome back to another Becca's Moments. I'm very excited now. It is day five and um, the terror is leaving a little bit. And um, I started on February 23rd. I've had a lot of people ask me lately, you know, hey, I just found your video and it's awesome. How long have you been doing this and kind of what's your goal and what's going on? So I thought that I would address that today. And um, so I started on February 23rd. And my goal is to do it for 365 days. My goal is to, hey, say hi to my little Yorkie Maddie. Um, my goal is to just take my personal um, self to the next level. And so I want to invite you to join me on a 365 day journey too, to take something in your life and take it to the next level. So um, that could be um, more peace, more joy, more confidence, more self-acceptance, more ability to say yes to opportunities, no to dysfunctional relationships or things that aren't good for you, to take your business and your dreams to the next level. So I hope that you'll join me for 365 days and that you will let me know. I would love to hear. You can make a comment here or you can Facebook me or um, get in touch with me and let me know. Hey, Becca, I'm on this journey. I'm excited to go to the next level with you. And uh, let's see. Another question that I have been getting a lot of is, well, how can I find your, your, your channel? How can I find your videos? Well, with YouTube, you can um, become a member and then you can subscribe to channels. So you could sub subscribe to my channel and then every time you logged in to your YouTube account, you would see, you would have notifications that I had a new video, which should be every day. And, um, or you can bookmark uh, youtube.com forward slash Becca Moments and just come here and check that page and you'll see the new videos that have loaded. And also, I guess, um, below, if you look down where the description is on here, there's a little thumb. And you can use your thumb power and you can say thumbs up. You can weigh in. Hey, that worked for me. Or hey, if it just totally didn't, you can use that thumb power and, and say, hey, that, that wasn't what I needed for today. And that's, that's great. So I also kind of wanted to address some of the, the different, um, let you kind of know, where I would be coming from, what a lot of the topics are I would be covering here. And they will be things that um, I'm really passionate about, ideas and thoughts and stories that have made a difference in, in my life. And, and then the things that I'm learning every day as I take my life to the next level. So for some of you um, who don't really know a lot about me, um, I was born with five holes in my heart and to a mom who was a drug addict and an alcoholic and she didn't want children and they said that as a sickly child I spent most of my first two years in the hospital and that she would um, beat me with a wooden spoon on the head when I cried till I would stop crying because there was a lot of drug traffic in her home and you know that's not a good scene and when you're an addict you know, um, suffered all different sorts of abuse. And just in my life through those years, physical and, and um, sexual and mental abuse. And the thing is, I know that um, probably f at least one out of every four people who are listening to me right now said, oh, hey, I have a story too. I know exactly, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, one day my mom decided that, you know, she didn't want to deal with us kids anymore, and so she took us on a long drive, and then on an airplane, and then another long drive, and she abandoned us out in the middle of the California desert in a Hispanic barrio, and um, we never saw her again. So anyways, I, I don't really want to go into all of that today, um, but I wanted to let you know kind of my background and where I came from. Then let you know, you know, fast forward, you know, to 45 plus years and, um, and 
and now I'm living, you know, in a, uh, a an incredible life and having incredible experiences, and I've gotten to write some books, and I get to um, train and and speak and mentor people, and um, I just barely missed the seven figure uh, million dollar earning last year, and this year I will hit that with my my business. So I'm saying, hey. I know there's many of you who are somewhere along that journey of you don't like yourself, you don't, you don't like yourself, you can't stand yourself, you don't believe in yourself, um, or you, you have made some strides and you just, once you get so far, you kind of um, get in a state of paralysis and you aren't able to move on to the next level. It's like you're going really strong and then all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from underneath you and you um, you feel like everything you've done is, you feel like a fraud. You feel like you don't even know how you got to where you got. And I want you to know that is so normal in the journey in life. It doesn't matter who I talk to of, of how successful they are um, or books that I've read from people living in or dead. When you really start to get to study and know the lives of extremely successful people, you find out that is just part of the process. And so you're not alone, you know. Um, so I want to share that with you. I want to share with you those days when my rugs pulled out from underneath me and how I get past that. I want to share with you the things that got me from where I was to the life I am now and the things that I want to take me even to really more exciting. There's so much of this world I want to see and experience and share with my friends and my family and my grandchildren someday and um, I know life is a journey and it just keeps getting bigger and better if we let it. So as I say, cook on that. Let me know where you stand. Let me know if you're all in. Be brave. And let me know that you want to take this journey with me. And cook on that. Until we meet again for another Becca moment.